All right, third grade, we're in the Your Turn Practice book. We're on page three, The River Rescue. Read the passage and use the visualized strategy to help form pictures in your mind. River Rescue. Enid lived in the jungle with her family and friends. Her home had tall green trees, cool blue streams, and bright and beautiful flowers. It had enough tasty fresh fruit to last forever. The only thing Enid loved and adored more than her jungle home was reading. She read stories about fish. She read stories about dogs. She read stories about castles in France. Sometimes her friends told her that she read too much. Enid, you always have your trunk in a book. Your eyes will start to ache if you read too much, her friend Mabel would say. Come swimming instead. I'll swim later. I'm reading about a girl with ruby red slippers. Every evening after dinner, Enid would read her favorite stories to her friends. They would listen for a while, but one of them would always say, hearing stories isn't fun. Let's go play. Enid kept reading. She hoped she would inspire her friends to read. One day, after a heavy rain, Enid was trying to read a story about a beaver building a dam. In the middle of chapter 12, she heard a cry for help. Books are a good way to become educated. However, even Enid would put a book down if someone needed her help. Help, said the small, meek voice. It came from the river's edge. I know that voice, said Enid. It's my friend Maple. Page four. Enid ran toward Mabel's voice. When she reached the river's edge, she was surprised and shocked by what she saw. The usually calm, flat, clear water was now dark and swirling with splashing white waves. On the other shore, on the opposite side of the river, was tiny Mabel. Enid, what can we do? asked her friend Harold. We were about to play in the river like we always do. Mabel was on the other side of the river about to pick some fruit for lunch and then it happened the river got deeper and wider all of a sudden it was magic it wasn't magic said enid it was a flood i read about it sometimes when it rains too much like it did today rivers can swell and get bigger without warning without a warning what can we do to help mabel asked harold did you also read about something to help when rivers get too big Enid thought about her book about the beaver's dam. Yes, we can build a dam. A dam is like a wall in the river. It slows down the water. When it slows down, Mabel can cross back to us safely. How do we make a dam? Asked Harold. Like this, said Enid. She rolled around round gray stones toward the river, slowly building a wall in the water. Her friends began helping her assisting Enid in building the dam. Soon it was complete and the water slowed. Mabel was able to cross back. After that day, Enid's friends were satisfied to read books with her and listen to her stories. A. Reread the passage and answer the questions. So now you're going to pause and rewind the video and you can read it again with me or you can pause here and go back and read the story again. All right, when you come back, let's read number one. What do Enid's actions in the first half of the story tell you about her? So in the first half of the story, we are mainly focusing on Enid reading. So Enid's actions in the first half of the story tell us she loves reading more than playing, right? Why do you think Enid wants her friends to read and listen to stories? So that's for you to decide why you think Enid wants her friends to read and listen. But I'm going to say, I think this is my opinion. You can have a different one. Enid wants her friends 
to read and listen to stories because They make her happy, so she wants to share her joy. But you can have a different reason that she wants to share those stories. Number three, a character's actions make the events in a story happen. If Enid did not like reading, how would the story be different? So let's think about the story. If Enid had not been reading books, she may not have known how to save her friend. So, if Enid did not like reading, she may not have been able to help her friend. And also, you could think about how her other friend thought the river rose with magic, but she knew the true answer. All right, now here it says work with a partner. So you can pick someone at home. You're going to read the story or the passage out loud. Pay attention to expression. So it's how your voice sounds when you're reading. Stop after one minute and then fill out the chart. So you might wanna set a timer. And your first read, let's say you read the story and you got all the way to the word slippers. That's 113. So in the chart, you're gonna write your first read. You read 113. And let's say I made two mistakes, because I think I did. So I'm gonna say 113 minus two would be 111, okay? Now let's say I read it again, because you're gonna read it two times. You know, first read and a second read. And my next read, I read all the way to the word favorite. Well, this word here, 114, would be every. This one is stories 125, so I'm actually really close to 125. I'm one away, so I'm 124, right here, 124. And on this chart, I'm gonna put 124. And that time, I learned from my mistakes. I didn't make any mistakes. So my words correct are 124. So fill out your chart and then add it to Google Classroom so I can see how you did.